when I was in Hairspray, I guess that's when I decided to fully go forth. Because remember, I didn't have an agent, didn't have a, like a, a real manager. I was on Broadway for three years. And a lot of people were like, what happened to you? You disappeared after three days. No, I didn't disappear. I was growing. I was working. I was learning myself. And that's the time that a lot of people, young people, don't take the time to figure out what you want to do, whether it's going to school, political science, do I do Broadway? I was learning who I was without the group. And that was the, the moment when I was like, all right, I think I'm going to take this seriously. I need to get an agent. I need to, you know, really go for it. So randomly, again, not by my will, God's grace, uh, an, an agent was in the audience, like one of the days I was performing on, you know, on the show, eight shows a week. And they came backstage and like, you're so talented. Do you have an agent? I was like, no, I'm actually looking for one. And they signed me, gave me tons of like little commercial auditions. I did a ton of things that people would think are minuscule, but those things matter. So eventually they were like, okay, you're killing in this commercial game. We want you to audition for this movie called Notorious. I was like, huh, what? I remember when she was on Broadway, she came to the studio one day and said, hey, um, I think I can get this role to play Lil' Kim. Can I rap to you? And I was, I was listening and I was like, no, nah, don't do it like that, do it like this, you know? And then she would come back and just be like two days later and like listen to the rap now. And I was like, dang, I thought that was Lil' Kim. I, I decided if I'm gonna do Lil' Kim, I'm going to murder it. I'm not gonna halfway this character. So if she got her titties out, we gonna have her titties out. If she's gonna, you know, spread her legs Queen B style, I'm gonna have to spread my legs Queen B style. On the stage, I learned everything. I embraced the tone, the style, the swag, Brooklyn. I made sure the best way that I could. I wanted to honor her, A, because I thought she was so dope. And, you know, I grew up loving, like, Notorious B.I.G., you know, Junior Mafia. It was legendary. So I just wanted to do it justice, and I did my absolute best, and I'm really proud of the work I did. I would never take on a role of a real-life person that is alive and well and not try to speak with them and reach out. So for the record, for all those interviews or things that people have heard where they said, oh, Natura didn't even try to get in touch with Little Kim, lies, lies. Let's clear the record. At the time, there was a manager, I think, that was managing Kim. I think his name was Un. Uh, I called, I left multiple voicemails. Um, the, the director of the film, George Tillman, was like, you know, we're gonna put you guys together so you can ask questions. So I'm thinking, great. I never forget, I was at the production office in Brooklyn, New York. Kim comes off the elevator. I happened to be there for a rehearsal. Huge, beautiful fur. She looks like, I was like, oh my gosh, the queen is here. She walks right by me with her crew, goes into the director's office, he closed the door. All I hear is, what the f they're arguing, they're yelling, it, it gets heated. And I was like, I hope this is not about me, um, but it was. Because I guess there was some miscommunication about how the casting process, but again, I'm just an actress. I was just hired to do a part. So I was hoping and praying. I reached out via phone uh, and, and tried that time in person. Maybe Kim didn't get portrayed in the light that she wanted, but Naturi was doing her job as an actor, and she looks up to Lil' Kim, so that was, which most female rappers do, because Lil' Kim is legendary. Maybe my look had something to do with it. Again, it started to replay the memories of 3LW, saying, like, you're not good enough, or because I was, I guess, darker than she thought the character should have been. That was, it was kind of sad that that would happen. She should have been proud that this young girl was ready to portray her the best she could. I just wanted to have her blessing. I really did. I truly, to this day, I have nothing but love and respect for, you know, Lil' Kim. She really is, like, to me, what has spawned all the careers of the, you know, Nicki Minaj's and the Cardi B. We all should be looking at Lil' Kim and being like, yo, they just took from that book and did it now. No disrespect to these artists, but let's just keep it all the way uncensored. 
Y'all know y'all got that from Lil' Kim. So please, give her her just due. So for me, I have nothing but love and respect, and I hope that she knows that I was honored to play her, and I hope one day uh, she, can, she can see that and really know that.